The Reading by Audrey Rule, Components of Authentic Learning, identifies four major components of authentic learning based on characteristics that are most commonly reported in recent studies on the topic. These components are Activities involve real-world problems that mimic work of professionals in the discipline with presentations of findings to audiences beyond the classroom. These activities include open-ended inquiry, thinking skills, and metacognition is addressed. Students engage in discourse and social learning in a community of learners. And finally, students are empowered through choice to direct their own learning and relevant project work. This portion of the flipped lecture will expand on the importance of each one of these components to a successful, authentic learning experience. The first component of authentic learning requires that these activities target real-world problems with presentations of findings to audiences beyond just the classroom. Authentic tasks target real problems with the potential to have an impact on the outside world, turning exercises into important tasks. These activities allow students to connect to the world beyond the classroom and display knowledge to an audience other than the instructor. Placing the student's learning in context allows them to learn to adapt to new situations while also engaging them in learning. This helps learners move from formal education to practice. Poster sections or symposia that are open to the public and pertinent to the community allow students these opportunities to present to the public. The second component of authentic learning is that the activities are open-ended and include metacognitive learning. Authentic problems, like real-world problems, have more than one solution. Authentic learning requires that students perform their own inquiry into the subject matter. These activities include metacognition, which helps create adaptable knowledge for use in new settings. Inclusion of metacognition leads to increases in learning for both high and low achieving students by helping them organize and process information better. Additional examples of this component are model listening problems, as will be discussed in the flipped lecture video on this topic. The third component of authentic learning is that students engage in discourse and social learning in a community of learners. In the real world, Tasks are accomplished by individuals working on teams or as part of a larger system, and not as individuals. In the case of authentic learning, there are two parts of the learning community. The first is that there is a community of learners unraveling the problem. And second, the problems themselves are community-based. For more information about this component, view the flipped lecture section on situated cognition. The fourth component is that students are empowered through choice to direct their own learning in relevant project work. This is more realistic and more engaging to the students. Additionally, a significant body of research has shown that student motivation and engagement increases when choice is introduced into the classroom. A second part of this component is that authentic learning is student-centered learning where the student is the focus of the class with the instructor as a facilitator and source of information along with the other students, community partners, course materials, online resources, and local libraries. In this style of a class, questions are raised and owned by the students, making them problem identifiers in addition to problem solvers.